One island, two peaks and some very bad cramps, we make it to number one in Hong Kong's 10 best hikes as we go coast to coast on Hong Kong's biggest island. Well, we've been counting down Hong Kong's 10 best hikes. We've arrived at number one. We're here in Mui Wo. We're about to take on Sunset and then Lantau Peak what we believe is Hong Kong's best hike. Unfortunately, George is not well today, so I'm doing it alone. It's gonna be a long old day, so let's get going. There have been many attempts to rank Hong Kong's best walks, but we believe we've come up with a formula that outdoes them all. We took weeks to gather data and come up with our top 10 list. For this last hike in the series, we take a ferry to Mui Wo and set off along the promenade before cutting inland along the fishing harbor and on to Ma Po village. It's worth a quick look at Yuan's mansion and the Luk Te Tong watchtower along the way before seeking out and setting off along the old village path to Nam Shan. So there are two ways to get from Mui Wo to Nam Shan where we start the real hard work of the climb up Sunset Peak. The first is to walk straight up the road and that's the way the Lantau Trail will take you but it's a far more pleasant walk to go through the old villages around Mui Wo and then up the back as I'm doing right now on the old path to Nam Shan. It's not much further, maybe a little bit further, but a lot more pleasant and lots to discover. The path is up all the way, but reasonably gentle and shaded by trees. picnic benches look for the turning right up to Sunset Peak. I've just gone through Nam Shan and this is really where the hard work starts. It's from here almost straight up onto the top of Sunset Peak. It's a good half an hour I'd say from Mui Wo Pier up to here going this way and then I'm expecting about a one hour climb. The climb is long and very steep. Bear in mind there are no water stops until you reach Nong Ping towards the end of the hike, so be sure to bring plenty of liquids. Well, as you can see by my face, it's very hot and it's all uphill. Quite a challenge for a hot day, but the views are starting to open up. We're getting above the tree line, which is going to make a difference because hopefully the wind will pick up. The bad news, of course, is that I'm going to be directly exposed to the sun. Okay, let's keep it going. To get to the top of Sunset Peak, you need to come off the main trail and head up on a smaller path after you pass the huts. As the name suggests, this has a great view of Lantau Peak at sundown as the sun sets off to the west. For me, it's still early in the day and time to start my descent. Well, as I stand here on the rock, it's pretty obvious why so many of you put this as number one in your Hong Kong top 10 hikes. If you look behind me, there's Sunset Peak. I've just climbed up there and we're looking down on the stunning Lantau Peak, which is our next destination. We're gonna go, being, go along this ridge down here, down to the road down there at Paco, and then you can see the ridge as we go back up, all the way up to the top and then back down over to Nong Ping from where we'll make our way back down to Tung Chung. Beautiful day, stunning mountain. The hike down to Pak Kung Ao takes you over an alluring ridge from which you get views over to Chung Sha Beach and out to the Soko Islands. If you're lucky, as I was, you will catch colourful paragliders floating above the beach below. Once you reach Pak Kung Ao, cross the Tung Chung Road and follow the signs to Lantau Peak. Well, I've just started the climb up Lantau Peak, the second big climb of the day. Uh, it's just gone two o'clock, so I still have plenty of time to get up there. I'll take it nice and easy. Now you can do this hike in two steps. You could stop at Pakau and then come back, take a taxi or a bus back down either to Tung Chung or Mui Wo and then come back and do the second half later 
or you could just choose to do one half uh, I'm gonna try and do both it's gonna be a tough long day not for the faint-hearted um, but that way I really get to see both mountains right I've got about six or seven hundred meters to climb let's go it's a long climb up Hong Kong's second tallest mountain but this is probably the gentlest way up expect to see an increased number of hikers on the trail particularly once you reach the peak it can be quite crowded at the weekends Obligatory selfie at the peak, follow the signs down to Nongping along two ridges before you make it to the steps that take you down to the Wisdom Path. From there, follow the signs past the Big Buddha and into the town. There you'll find shops, cafes and restaurants, as well as buses and a cable car back down to Tung Chung if you want to call it a day. Well, I made it to Nongping and this is where George and I were planning to end this episode, but... I've got a little bit more energy and a few people had suggested to finish this walk the best way is to walk down along the stairwell that goes underneath the cable car that's what I'm gonna do it's now about an hour left of daylight so let's hope I get back in time look for the Ne Lak Shan country trail underneath the cable car and follow it to the top of the first hill it deviates away from the cable car at first, but once you reach the platform at the midpoint, you leave the Ne Lak Shan Country Trail and join the Nong Ping 360 Rescue Trail. Although most of the trail is downhill, there are a few short ups to test what strength you have left. I've got a bit of cramp in my legs. I can't go up this hill. Ah. I have to sit down for a bit. Ah. Shoot. Ah. 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 Oh, ah. That is bad cramp. Ah. Maybe I overstretched it a little bit. As you get closer to Tung Chung, the wooden boardwalk turns into a regular path, leaving the cable car as you descend to Tung Chung Bay. Well, that's the end of this hike. We've done about ooh, nearly 19 kilometers. I'm still gonna get down to Tung Chung, probably another three kilometers or so to do that. It's been a very tough one. So sorry, George didn't make it, but to be honest, I'm not sure if he would. There's a challenge for you there, George. See if you can do it. Now I'm finishing this series on this beautiful hill, looking out at the clouds rolling over there, over Lantau. And we look right the way down Victoria Harbor. It is a stunning place to finish this. Please, please like and subscribe wherever you see this. We're trying to build our YouTube audience, so if you're watching us there, please hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about it. We want to bring you more and more content, and we can only do that if we have the subscribers. For now, my name's DJ, and this is Drone and Fun. Okay, just coming into Tung Chung now, and the watch is saying 23 kilometers. Oh, that was a tough one. 